It's like a really amazing feeling to be part of this team, the first ever varsity girls team. It's so, it's like a really amazing experience to be playing in front of your school. Growing up playing like youth sports, we were always together as Webster Schrader, or like Thomas and Schrader. And then when you get to the high school level, you have to split and you can no longer play with those girls anymore. So you lose those connections. And this like brought us back together. We knew that we had something unique here in Webster, which is all these girls are part of one district. Um, and we could pretty much put our own team together. Um, we wouldn't have been able to know that without a lot of work on the back end by um, an amazing grassroots parent group that was really helpful for us to, to sort of diagnose where we were at and, and I guess um, do some analytics about like what it would look like next year, the years beyond, etc. And then what, what it might look like in Section 5 if it ever takes shape, uh, which is what we're hopeful for. We put together a group um, and hired our first uh, girls hockey coach this fall and an assistant and uh, started the program so it's it's something that's a great opportunity for our um, female hockey players. They're learning to have pride and to have fun and to kind of carry themselves. We keep talking about like the reputation that we need to build that we're the first and that that comes with kind of this extra load to it that we need to have good grades that we need to represent well that we need to leave places better than we found them that we need to carry ourselves with poise and um, have respect for areas and stuff so they're learning all that kind of stuff as well as how to have fun and how to build like these connections with people and how to be a part of a team so they're learning a lot and it's great to see the growth in them because already from the beginning of the season we've grown so much. I'm hoping that it'll, it'll help kickstart the program a little bit more and help start and bring in more girls seeing all the players and all the ponytails sticking out of the helmets, it's, it's really cool. It feels awesome. I just, every day I look at the girls and I just like to see how happy they are and how excited they are um, and just how much they love it and that they get to play for their school and have pride and playing hockey and just having fun with their friends and competing um, at this level and at this stage. Yeah, I do it for the club, but to do it for school is like really nice. I like it. There's nothing like the school experience to play for your school. So that opportunity that um, has been provided for them is, is great. Looking at the student section on that first day was insane. Just, we didn't really expect to pick up as much steam as we did, I guess. Like, it was, it was really, really cool to see how, how many people really supported the team. It's worthwhile doing because you can get to see them on the ice. And, and once you start to see that, and you know, a couple of them mentioned just um, proud to be Lakers and, and proud to have the one Webster feel of their teams. And it's, you know, it's been unifying for even just the first game when we had both the Thomas uh, and the Schrader hockey teams, the boys teams in the crowd together. And it's been good for us, good for one Webster. I mean, I hope the program becomes a lot bigger than it is right now. I hope Section 5 girls hockey becomes a big thing. There's sectionals that we can make a state tournament. I'm just hoping that the program expands. It's good to set an example for the younger girls and for girls just kind of all over Section 5 that like this can happen, like we are doing this.